Welcome in all my friends. Lazy Retired Granny here. Today's date is Thursday. Um, what day is it? April 13th, 2023. The time is approximately 20 minutes to 7 a.m. here in Salem, Oregon. With the sun starting to come up, it's shining. We've got a brilliant sunrise this morning. It's blinding, in fact. And it's just so pretty coming in over the mountains. So. <laughs> yeah, so I started working on this painting, which is one that I bought from Amazon back in December of 2021. This is the painting size. It's a full canvas, 60 by 40 centimeters and square drills, which I am not good at, but I tried. <laughs> so I'm gonna be using Yep, my straightener, quite a bit. <sighs> this is a landscape picture of, um, I don't know, maybe that's the ocean, the stream or something with some mountains, rocks in the background. I paid $3.99 for this painting. It's now available for $9.99 on Amazon. So, I've been working on this this morning for a couple hours, and this is as far as I've gotten. <laughs> All I have left to do in this part is the little stars, yeah, which is color 31, 939, yeah, so they're kind of a really dark blue. And, uh, yeah, Mary, you wanted a close-up? Here's a close-up. <laughs> you guys, don't laugh at me. Hopefully, these will straighten out a little bit as I go along. Yeah. <laughs> now, I did get out this pen. I'm going to see if this works a little bit better for me. So I'm just going to move the camera over a little bit. Ugh. So I can get to the canvas. This may not work, so we'll see. Let's see, how do I want to hold this? Oh, this is going to be worse for me. I don't know how to hold it. If I hold it this way, I think what I decided when I use this, it needs to be farther up the canvas because I just don't have enough room down here to place the drills. Well, that works pretty good up there. For placing them. <laughs> like I said, I'm no expert when it comes to these squares. And I have Let me look here. These new canvases that I bought at Hobby Lobby, I think I have one that's square. Let me look. Uh, that one's round. Ooh, that one's square. And this one is... Uh, I got two that are square. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, I moved the camera. Give me a little bit more room here. I am super, super slow at this. Yeah, I think... For me, this would work better up here, up above, using this bent one. So I think I'm going to put on my other, my other tip. <coughs> Excuse me. So I can work it down below <laughs> oh my goodness gracious okay Mary I'll see if I can get this a little bit more closer There we go. <laughs> All right, stop laughing, you guys. I know they're crooked. <laughs> Once I get done with the section, where's that at? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Mary, I'm not a very good teacher when it comes to these. I have no idea why I struggle so much. All right. I don't know where that's at. Let me put this down a little bit. All right. Where's the camera at? <laughs> Over here. Uh, okay. Let's move the camera over. I did change my light and so it would be down a little bit. I just sorry if I'm making you seasick here. I'm trying to find out where I'm at. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to work around the camera and it's what else can I can I put this over? Mary wanted a close up, but I'm not doing a very good job at that. Alright, let's try that right there. Nope, I'm still going to hit the camera. Mary, um, I would go watch some videos of Oh, that one's crooked. Of uh, Jeffrey Morrison. He does square drills. He's really good at it. He's very precise. And um, I think you really have to have a knack for it. Or a lot of practice, maybe. And with this painting, I'll have a lot of practice. <laughs> it 
may take me the rest of the month to do this one. Oops. It's all right to laugh at me. I laugh at myself. It's better to laugh than <clears throat> to get frustrated. Because, you know, this is supposed to be fun and relaxing, so I just laugh at myself. Nobody else is going to see it but me, well, and you guys, but that's okay. The struggle is real, but I still enjoy it. I love it. I'm not a professional. <laughs> Just do it for fun. When it's not fun anymore and you can't enjoy it, it's time to stop. I was going to um, give a suggestion for you on a budget. When I first started diamond painting, I wanted to frame my diamond paintings. But wow, to take them to a framer, you know, or take it to Joann's or whatever, and they frame it, that is expensive. So what I did is I went to thrift stores and I took my diamond painting with me and oh, I think that's upside down. Is it? Maybe not. Maybe? Yep, it was. Um, I took my diamond painting with me into the store and I went to where they had pictures for sale, pictures with frames, and they were really, really inexpensive, you know, a few bucks. And I'd find a frame that looked good with the picture. And then I... Bought the frame, brought it home, took out the picture that was in the frame, and put my diamond painting in it. And I can't remember if I did a video on those or not, but when I feel ambitious, I will get those pictures out and show you the ones that I framed. And you do want to put a coating on those. At least that's my suggestion. Um, before you frame them. But once I figured out that this was something that I wanted to keep doing, it's like I cannot frame all these pictures because there'd be too many of them. And that's when I got my portfolio book to put, put them in. And when I first started putting them in the folders, I would use different washi 
tape to to go around the painting just to kind of add a little frame to it in the in the portfolio but that didn't work out so well after a while and then I thought why am I doing that because it's not like I'm gonna have it out on display it just goes in the book and then in the storage um, cupboard so I stopped doing even that Yeah, I like shopping the thrift stores for certain things that you can get for a pretty good cost. Our Goodwill stores here are just... Sometimes you can go to the store and buy them for cheaper than you can at the Goodwill. But we do have other thrift stores that really have some good bargains we have one that's just in the outskirts of downtown and when i was out and about yesterday i thought i'm gonna stop by there really quick and see if they got any bargains and i needed some little speakers for my um chromebook whoops sorry because some people talk so soft on their YouTube videos that I have it at full blast and can barely hear them. And so I thought, well, some little speakers would amplify it a little bit. Well, they had a really nice set of speakers for two bucks. So I picked them up. Hooked them up to my Chromebook, and oh my gosh, they blast you out of here. So that was a good buy. Yeah, some of their um, stuff is reasonably priced. I know the Salvation Army, they have vinyl records, super cheap, you know, like two bucks a piece. And they're the oldies that I like. And I have a record player. And uh, yeah, I enjoy listening to records. All right, Mary, I'm, this is kind of blurry, I think, so I'm going to kind of bring that back so I can move my camera a little bit so I can... So, yeah, and they've got... The One Salvation Army. We, I think we have two of them in Salem. I think. I keep hoping I'll find some diamond paintings that are donated, but haven't found any yet. It seems like the craft stuff at the Goodwill, I don't know, they've done away with it, and I think now they sell it online, because the craft section is just 
practically non-existent anymore. Well, if, oh man, the clouds are starting to come in now. I'm thinking Ellie and I might go out for a little walk. Let her run around a little bit. I hope you don't mind me uh, showing her off in my videos. She is so funny. She keeps me entertained and she's so dang smart that it's scary sometimes. She knows exactly every move I make. She she knows what I'm going to do. Of course, she's been with me since the second she was born, so she knows all my habits. And I talk to her constantly. She doesn't talk back, but... One thing I like about having having her is, you know, she just loves me unconditionally. And it's so sweet, you know, when she, when I sit on the couch and she comes over and she, she gives me hugs. And then she tries to be a lap dog. And when you got an 80 pound dog <laughs> trying to sit on your lap, <laughs> oh my goodness, but she gives it a try. Yeah, when she does that, I can't knit while I'm on the couch. It's all about Ellie. <laughs> she lays her head and neck and on my lap and I sit and pet her and before long we're both snoring. And at night she has to lay right up next to me and she's a bed hog. She's also a blanket hog. I have a queen size bed and there are some nights that she just gets right up next to me and she squishes me out of bed and so I have to get up and go to the other side of the bed <laughs> to lay. <laughs> uh, I don't know who spoiled more, her or me.
want to maybe try to get these straightened a little bit. Probably each section I'll have to go through and just straighten them a little bit when I'm done with, you know, each section. I think that's what I had to do with my last painting. That was square. It's mosaic. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. I'm not going to be too picky about it. Just have some fun. That seems to be over a little bit. Yeah, and I recommend anybody to try to square um, drills. Just because I have a hard time with it doesn't mean that other ones don't. There's people that are really good at it. And ones that prefer the square. I think if there was a lot of color blocking using the checkerboard part would might work better let's see I'll do a few here before my time's out All right, now let's put these in. Yeah, that might work better doing it that way. If you've got, you know, some, um, just lost the word in my brain you know if you're able to do that that might be a good idea okay I'm gonna go I'll keep you posted <laughs> oh my gosh I'm gonna be on this forever <laughs> so happy diamond painting thanks for stopping by and I'll chat with you later